Hey guys, Harry here, back with part four on the boundary wall, uh, little boundary wall panel, should I say. Uh, this is the last part of this um, this little mini series uh, on the boundary on this little small panel. Tomorrow's video is going to be the start of me topping this wall off. So this is going it's going to be called uh, topping off a boundary wall, part one, because uh, it's the first time I've sort of done one and filmed one from start to finish. Uh, on YouTube, I've done a, I've done, I've topped off probably fifty walls in my time. I'd say of one, one type or another, and uh, I've got quicker and quicker at doing this brick tile brick and edge over the over the years. You can only get so quick at it before the quality starts to suffer. I find, but you know, there is there is uh, an ideal temperature to be laying in, which makes it easier and. Uh, hot weather is one of the easier temperatures uh, this week it's been a, a still a bit of a cloudier week but it's still been warm it's still absolutely knackered the hell out of me so uh, I've been I've had a steady one this week to be honest this is the first day of the steady week and uh, it's definitely been it's definitely been needed to be honest I felt pretty good after work I haven't felt too knackered uh, I've not felt too burnt out either, so this is sort of a, a sort of a pace I'm going to maintain, I think, for a little while. Uh, I've been getting to work no earlier than half eight, and I've been starting work at that nine o'clock and working all the way through till four o'clock. Having a break at around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, so I'm doing like nine well 12, which is 10, 11, which is three hours. And then we're having, then we're starting at one, and doing another three hours. So we're doing about six hours, with an hour snap. So that's seven hours on site, and then like half an hour preparation time. So seven and a half hours uh, with like an hour combined there and back travel. Eight and a half hours, nine hours out the house. That's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal to me for, uh, you know, for what we're earning doing them hours. Uh, we're written about well we're doing these little we're doing like little bits of walls this week we've finished off we finished off that big wall that i made an eight part series too and then we are finishing off this little wall which was only one little panel uh and then we're topping off so i did uh, a one and one day finishing off the big wall i've done a one and one day finishing off this last panel and then which is which is these four parts you're watching now and then we've done i've done a one in one day we built all the pillars up uh, when topping the wall off this wall we built all pillars up to full height uh, and, and did some rack backs and then uh, today i was on my own for the first for the for my fourth day uh, and we uh, basically filled all the racks in uh, everything was up to full height i put tiles on all the pillar tops and two panels of this wall which this is a four paneler and I've only got two, uh, these two long straights of tiles and brick on edge to do, and four brick on, four brick on edge tops and two little panels of brick on edge. So uh, it's easily doable tomorrow. Uh, it normally takes me 15 minutes to just put the bricks, uh, the bricks on top of the, the each pillar top takes me 15 minutes when the tiles are already on, because uh, it don't require any, uh, you know, all the tiles are solid. So. You know, to lay 12 brick on edge, it takes me like 15 minutes to point them, lay them, you know, and move my gear off to the next one. So I get four done in about an hour, uh, all fully pointed, and then I can get the small panel done in about, uh, my guess is about half an hour. And then the squint panel done in about an hour because there's some awkward cuts on that one. So we're looking at like two and a half hours, three hours to get uh, the awkward bits out of the way. And then that gives me a good solid three hours to do uh, to do the two long stretches. So about half an hour, about an hour and a half a stretch, I'm reckoning. Uh, that's what it normally takes me. So yeah, I'm on schedule to have a good day on Friday and uh, get all that done. I'll uh, I'll be showing you guys uh, in the next few videos after this one me doing a pillar build to full height from one side of the scaffold. Uh, I'll also be showing um, me walling over and off of a scaffold uh, that's a, a foot scaffold, so it'll be quite low. Uh, so I'll be stood on a milk crate doing some over and walling to full height on a wall. 
how I load out, etc. I'll be talking about how I load out for, for topping walls off and stuff and how I've been adapting my style. And also you'll see me laying some tiles, which I didn't get on the uh, on the Thursday, which is the day you'll be watching this video. Uh, but I got the, I'll get some footage on the Friday of me laying tiles and then the brick on edge and how I lay brick on edge and some tips regarding that. Um, talking to these, this video, uh, I've actually voiceovered this video a few times. I had a bit of a super rant on one of them, uh, talking about just the attitude of the of bricklayers on site and um, in the comment section of YouTube videos. Uh, I'll just touch on what I was sort of getting at, is if there's anyone leaving, uh, you know, leaving troll comments or, you know, just, just complete rubbish in the comments and... And I look, through, I look at the channel of the offender who's repeatedly leaving negative feedback and, and just being a general nuisance. Uh, I will be blocking people. I've already blocked, I think, five or six people off the channel. Uh, obviously, one, if you do get blocked, you can still watch, but you just can't leave comments. So if you're going to go around spreading hate and, and non-positivity on the channel, you're going to get blocked in short order because uh, the missus tells me who I have to block and who I don't. She's my moderator, so she'll be watching out for any hateful, uh, hateful non-constructive criticism. Oh, I'm all open to constructive criticism, but um, I don't want any armchair bricklayers, you know, who can talk a good wall but can't build one. So, anyway, uh, that's it, really. Um, when it comes to this, what I'm building now, I'm pinned into the house behind me that run... You know, lined in with the wall. Got a big 11 course corner. That's my new favourite height to build corners. 11 or 12 course, length of a four foot level, tail out. And I can get them up pretty quick. And it beats building, beats building super corners like I did on the, on the garage build. On the, on the, on the last, on the, the second to last garage build I did, I did 12 course corners with a six foot level. Um, I love doing that, but the only downside to doing that is, um, well, to be honest, there isn't much of a downside to doing it other than, other than uh, you know, it takes, you know, you spending a lot of time building corners instead of running in. Whereas if you do an 11 course and run in, you still have, you know, you're mixing, you're not getting sick of corner building before you're running in. You know, you're not having to rush your, your lining in part of the brickwork. Uh, and you get a bit of a true reading because you know, you're making sure everything lines every 10 course, which is nice. Um, so that's what I'm going to probably try on the next garage I come to. I've got a garage, uh, I've, got, I've got a garage on the Miller Home site coming up in a couple of, might be next week, like a week after, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm on with next week. Um, I'll have this wall finished tomorrow, uh, which you're looking at now, it'll be topped off everything. So I'm not sure if I'm starting another couple of panels on this side, or I'm off to, or I'm doing some footings, or I'm doing a, a garage. I've got to find out a uh, garage and another wall. So that'll be on a different job to this. It'll not be on Heritage Star Bricks. It'll be on a new, I'm being like a more, you know, modern square brick with a little, with the perforations. Um, and that's something I can't actually wait to do. I'm really looking forward to laying the perforated bricks. Uh, Mrs. is laughing at me now, smiling at me, thinking I'm a right freak for looking forward to laying bricks. But uh, when you've been laying the same type of brick for a while, and you get the opportunity to lay a different type of brick for a while, call me a weirdo, no. Uh, passionate, passionate craftsman. Weirdo. Not obsessed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, off your shoulder. Um, I'll get a chance to do a bit of pick and dip on, on the same bricks as I did my first video about my first attempt doing pick and dip for about five, six months ago now. So that'll be something that I'll be uh, I'll be looking forward to. Um, obviously, since making these YouTube videos, I have, you know, got a bit more, more you know, more enthusiastic about brick laying. Uh, it has revitalised some enthusiasm in me. Um, other than the fact of, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's nice to be creative, you know. I've always wanted to do this YouTube thing. I had a go at it, making gaming videos when I was 13, back in the infancy of YouTube, when it was, you know, when, in 2008, 2009-ish, when it wasn't as popular. But now it seems it's accessible to everyone. And with the, with the modern 
technology on cameras and the camera technology now um you know even your simple iphones that everyone has takes a great fantastic shot and uh, a little bit of you know thoughtful angle work when it comes to recording you know the footage for these videos makes a pretty good picture and i've had people comment about the quality of the youtube uh, of, of the footage and they can't believe it's off an iphone it's only an iphone 8 uh, it's not even a, a you know a current generation iphone uh but yeah it does a, it does a quality quality uh 1080p uh, 60 fps footage so you know it's something that's that you know it, it lends itself well to obviously on site because you've always got your phone on you uh for, you you know you always have your phone on you so it's easy to record so when I do finally go and transition to an action cam, I'm going to be a bit, you know, disappointed about the ease of use. I'll be having to obviously, you know, crack me, get the camera out of a bag, you know, stick it on my head, and hopefully it'll be filming correctly because, I, you know, I don't want to have to be flicking for a camera on the fly to check it film correctly. So there'll be times where I get some really good footage and it just comes out shit because I didn't have it at the right angle, so... There's going to be, you know, it's going to get take some time getting used to not using an iPhone for recording, but it's going to come to a point where I'll have a dedicated camera to do it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, while I was building this, obviously, pick and dip all the way. Uh, you know, I've been, I've, every brick I pick up, I do pick and dip. I just, it's so much easier in this hot weather, you know, a lot of the American guys who uh, who who have been commenting in the in the comment section say that you know people don't understand how hot it gets in you know in countries like america and, and you know uh, abroad where it's only it's only practical to lay one brick at a time so for all these people who, who are just you know anti one brick at a time it's it's definitely has its merits especially on this type of brick it's super dry in these bricks uh, nutterst red multis or multi-red or whatever you want to call them the uh, th this is what they are they're a, a weinberger brick uh, that's what they that's what the brand name of them are so um that's what i've been laying for the last couple of months i mean it'd be nice to have a change up uh, i find square bricks to be quite honest easier to lay because of the nice arises um i find they go down easier because the perforations allow somewhere for the mortar to go uh, you, you generally need more mortar on perforated bricks so Whereas two two big tubs on a you know on a on a on a good day, we're, we're cleaning out two big tubs on a good day on the uh, frog bricks. Whereas on the perforated bricks, you know, we're having to do two and a half tubs. We're having to get we're going through the mortar a lot quicker. We normally got we normally gone through the mortar by ten o'clock in the morning, um, and then we're going through the mortar at like two o'clock a lot of the time on the perforated. So. We're, we're having to get a good, depending on how long we're working, we get either doing three to maybe two or two and a half tubs. I think we're doing two and a half on the perforators. So, you know, you end up using that, you know, and it's an extra trip to the silo, which can slow you down. But um, I always get the mortar because the old man, you know, he's had to go getting the mortar a few times and it's been hit and miss. And I don't blame him because the silos on a lot of these sites are just, you know, they're not looked after. They're not, you know, they're not, maintained right by the by the silo firm and uh it's inconsistent so that's why i tend to get the mortar and uh i know it, it, you know and a lot of the time when i go to get a tub you know there's no point me being stood next to the wall when you know i don't have any more anyway i'm, I'm used up so we do it in, at a snap times we get as tubs and uh yeah i've had the old man jointed up with me today uh on this footage um he was doing all the perps and then I just used to bed it, I bedded it off and uh, top and tails as I went and it makes it a lot quicker if someone does the perps for you. It's one of the best things to do if you want to just do the perps and not touch the beds. You know, the uh, it's a lot easier to get the perps done and you can leave the beds a bit and grind through them. Uh, I'm going to test out uh, a barbell jointer and see if that is any easier to get through bed joints when they're dry. It's one of the things that, that I got told, I got uh, told by... Uh, uh, Brit layer on, on 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 one of the sites I worked on. Uh, he was banging on to me about these barbell jointers, and uh, he showed me it, and I thought, what the fuck's that? And he said it powers through the bed joints easier when it's dry. So I'm gonna give it a go. I think it, when it's in the next week or two, 
when I look around my birthday, when I get the action cam, I'm going to get it for my birthday because my birthday is in three week. Uh, I'll get the action cam and get one of these barbell joints as I think I'll treat myself. So, uh, Mrs. has given me a, giving me the eye here. And not the eye, not the eye in a good way either. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, if anyone's got any any uh, questions about old old fashioned tingle here, Richard will be turning. Uh, Richard Richard will be, Fitzgerald will be uh, shouting at the screen now as me using a bit of paper instead of his Fitz brick to tingle. It's uh, it was just like the Fitz bricks were in my bag at the other side at wall so. I just had to use a little bit of paper on fly here. I don't normally use a fixed brick for this, but it can't be a good a good old bit of paper tingle. It's just old school. Old school, nice ten pound note round your round your line. Don't work anymore like because obviously it's not paper, it's plastic, so no good using a fifty. So uh yeah. There we go. Um I was gonna say now, um Ah god I've lost, lost my train of thought. What were we gonna say, Mel? Oh, no. uh, joints, joints, jointing. Da, 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 um, I don't know. Shit, you welcome first. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still keeping this. This is raw. Raw TV. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what Tricky Vicky, Ricky does. All right. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's the that's the video. Uh, in this this I did take a this is eleven course so I'm running in here. I was cutting. If you think if you're wondering why I'm cutting the footage all the time, uh, it's because the old man don't like to be in the in the in the footage. He's, he just wants his face covering. So uh, if you could just see the back of his head, that's just what he wants. Um, you know, he thinks you know, he thinks the sensors are going to come and get him. <laughs> uh, but so this is it. This is why I'm, I'm zooming in right here because the old man were there. So you, you know, if you if you un unzip his jacket, he'll have took all tags out of it. So he's like CIA, like a spook. So yeah, he'll not he'll not know who he is. Uh, but yeah, even though he has the most even though he has the most distinctive look ever with a with a mustache, who, who, like a porn star mustache. Who, who has one of them? <laughs> My missus won't let me have one. I'm gonna, no. grow, I'm gonna grow one out now. No, you're not. I'm ready. It's already prime. It's so gross. Can flare it up when I get angry. Like the boy. Can flare it. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And this is that we're gonna talk about. If uh, if anyone's got any questions about pick and dip or you know anything in these videos, I'd I'd my mate Izzy, another Brit Lane uh, up and coming Brit Lane channel. Um, he's asking about pick and dip, you know, he's skept not sceptical in a sense, but he's trying to learn it. And, and I think people underestimate, you know, watching me do it and watching other YouTubers do it, how, how challenging of a, of a technique it is to use. It isn't just as simple as pop some mortar on and squish it down. It's, you know, it has some finesse to it to do it effectively. And, you know, that's why people are so easy to call it rough or sloppy or terrible because, it, you know, they don't realise how much it takes uh, how much you know skill it takes to do pick and dip you know efficiently uh, and uh, you know consistently so that's uh, if anyone's got any questions i'll do another in-depth video about it now i've got some more experience uh, doing it on a daily basis i've been doing it for five six months now and it's 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 an absolute it's a it's a life changer it's an absolute game changer changes the way i work everything um, and it, it makes you it makes your life easier with uh, some of the things I'm going to talk about in the next couple of videos about how you stack your bricks, just how you operate in, throughout a day can make all the difference. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we're almost 800 subs when uh, you guys are watching this video. I'm absolutely over the moon. We've hit we've hit 100 subs in about a week and a half. I've gone up 100 subs in a week and a half. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Uh, so uh, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Click, click the notification bell. Comment, like, like so the YouTube algorithms can, you know, bump me forward into, into your phone screens and TV screens. So, <laughs> don't laugh.
anyway thanks a lot guys and i will see you in the next one